Ladies and gentlemen, it is our pleasure to offer you another short, short story in the series designed to disclose the origins of superstition. This one deals with the belief that Friday the 13th is an unlucky day. Henry, aren't you ready yet? Your breakfast will get cold. Hurry now. I'll be with you in a minute, Doris. Oh, every time you have a day off, Henry, it takes hours before I can get the housework started. And it's Oh, darling, I'm sorry. But you know, I only have a day off once every two weeks. Well... Do I get those nice hot biscuits for breakfast? Yes, dear. Here, read the morning paper while I get them out of the oven. All right, honey, but make it snappy. I've got to meet Bill out at the club for a game of golf. Here are the biscuits and your ham and eggs. Now eat them before they get... Great, Scott. Can you beat that? What's the matter, Henry? Do you know what day this is? No. It's Friday the 13th. Well, what's wrong with that, dear? What's wrong? Why, it's unlucky. Well, now I bet everything will go haywire today. I know I'll have some bad luck. Oh, why, darling, just because it's Friday the 13th, it's no different from any other day. Oh, yes, it is. I look at the disasters that happened on that day in England, right here in our own country. But, darling, those things would have taken place anyway, regardless of the day. Just as the incident that was responsible for starting that belief would have occurred whether it had been Friday the 13th or not. So don't be superstitious. Superstitious? Why, Doris, you know I'm not superstitious. But I'll bet Friday the 13th has been a jinx to mankind since the creation of the world. Oh, no, Henry. You're wrong. That superstition began much later than that. It was after the passion and crucifixion of the Christ that the superstition of that day and number became universally feared as an omen of evil. You mean they didn't regard Friday the 13th as unlucky before that time? No. Oh, true, the belief of lucky and unlucky days and numbers had begun with the old Chaldeans and Egyptians... But the actual superstition of Friday the 13th did not begin until after the crucifixion. For people believe that because 13 sat down to the Last Supper, Jesus Christ was betrayed and crucified the following day, which was Friday the 13th of Nisan by the Jewish calendar. Which only proves that Friday the 13th was unlucky, Doris. No, Henry. But don't you remember in the Bible that before the feast of the Passover, Judas had gone into the city of Jerusalem? and had bargained with the priests who hated the Christ because he was hailed by the people as a prophet, and they agreed to pay Judas 30 pieces of silver if he would deliver the Christ to them when he was away from the multitudes. After the Last Supper, Judas left Jesus and his disciples and went to the temple where the priests were excitedly discussing the growing power of the Christ and... <laughs> Silence, my brethren, silence. We must do away with this man, Jesus of Nazareth, for each day his power grows and he gains more followers. Yea, Caiaphas, only the other day the people did hail him as the son of David. Tis blasphemy. Tis sacrilege. He is an imposter. Let us take him. Nay, we cannot seize him. While he's amongst the people who love him and call him master. But Caiaphas, what of this Judas Iscariot, to whom we paid 30 pieces of silver? He promised to deliver this Jesus of Nazareth unto us. Yea, Joshua, but we must have patience, for I did caution him to wait until the time that his master would be alone, so as not to cause a tumult among the people. Caiaphas, Caiaphas. Judas Iscariot is here. He would speak with thee. Bring him before me at once. Now, my brethren, perhaps this Judas brings the news we are waiting for. Greetings, Judas Iscariot. Hath thou brought good tidings unto us? Yea, Caiaphas. Tonight as we sat at supper, I learned that the master doth go into the garden of Gethsemane this night to pray there alone. Now is the time to take him. At last. But, Judas, how will the soldiers know thy master? I will go with them and greet the master with a kiss. By that sign they will know him. Tis well spoken, Judas. Verily thou art the true savior of Israel. 
Now thou must go with the soldiers to seize this Jesus of Nazareth before he suspects that something may be amiss by thy absence and elude us. Nay, Caiaphas, the master doth know I will betray him. What? Meanest thou hast allowed him to suspect thee? Nay, but at supper tonight he did prophesy that one of his disciples would betray him. And when we all asked who it was, he said softly unto me, What thou doest, do quickly. And did the others know t'was thou who would betray him, Judas? Nay, for he whispered unto me. And when I left, the disciples thought that I did go on an errand for the master. Oh, then we must act quickly, for verily this man is empowered by the prince of darkness. Elias, take Judas to the soldiers. Now so that they may go at once to seize his master. Yea, Caiaphas, come with me, Judas. But Caiaphas, dost thou not fear that the people will cause a tumult when they learn that their master hath been taken? We must prevent that, Joshua. But how, Caiaphas? Thou and the other priests must stir up the people to lust for his blood. Tis easy to sway the emotions of a mob if ye were cleverly and carefully. Ah, thou art wise, Caiaphas. We must act quickly, Joshua, and crucify this man before another sun sets. Otherwise, twill be too late, for the holy Sabbath begins then. Thou art right, Caiaphas. We can do nothing on the holy Sabbath. Twould be a sacrilege. Nay, Joshua, but we must not fail. Tomorrow, Friday the 13th of Nisan, we will have crucified this Jesus of Nazareth upon the Mount of Golgotha, the place of the skull. But, Joshua, why should this Jesus of Nazareth be dying now upon the cross when he hath done nothing? Thou art a Roman, Lucius, and thou dost not understand. This man hath called himself the king of the Jews and the son of God. Tis blasphemy. But, Joshua, I have heard that he hath performed many wonders and done much good among the people. Ah, Lucius, he did say he would destroy the temple and rebuild it again in three days. And now thou seest he cannot even save himself. But behold, Joshua, his followers at the foot of the cross, how they love him and weep at his travail. He trusted in God, Lucius. Let God deliver him now, if he will have him. For did he not say, I am the son of God? But see, he dies instead. Yea, verily. Oh, how darkly overcast is the sky, Joshua. And each hour it doth grow more black. Yea, Lucius, and the evening hath not yet come. But look at Jesus of Nazareth. He is dead now. For the soldier hath pierced his side with a spear. Behold, Joshua, the rocks are rent asunder, the earth doth tremble, and the skies roar with a mighty wrath. Truly, this man was the Son of God. Verily, Lucius, I cannot understand. See the people, how they cry out with fear and beat their breasts. Alas, Joshua, this day, Friday the 13th, will go down in the records of time as a day of ill omen. For verily, we have crucified the Son of God. And so, after the crucifixion of the Christ... 
the people believe that Friday the 13th was a day of ill omen. But as you know, Henry, the day itself had nothing to do with it. Why, you're wrong, Doris. After all, it was an unlucky day. The people turned against the Christ and crucified him, didn't they? Oh, but Henry, don't you understand that the Christ was destined to be crucified, regardless of whether it was Friday the 13th or any other day? Yeah, but hmm, someone's at the door. Oh. I'll see who it is, honey. Telegram, sir. Could you sign here, please? Okay, thanks. Great Scott. What is it, dear? A telegram from your mother. Listen to this. Barbara, Myrtle, and I coming for visit. Arriving on the 245. Have Henry meet us at station. Lovingly, Mother. Oh, Mother's coming. Isn't that marvelous, dear? Yeah, great. The last time your mother visited us, she stayed six months. Now she's bringing the whole family, and she'll probably stay a year. And you tried to tell me Friday the 13th isn't an unlucky day. Bah! And so, ladies and gentlemen, after receiving that telegram, no one will be able to convince Henry that Friday the 13th is anything but an unlucky day. Well, au revoir and good luck to you. <laughs> 